Over the years, Grab has received several fines including a 9 million pesos penalty last month for its failure to fully refund its customers more than three years since the reimbursement was ordered by the regulator. In 2017, Grab was fined 63.7 million pesos by the Philippine Competition Commission following its acquisition of the ride-hailing firm Uber. But despite the fines imposed by the government, a network of digital advocates says that Grab seems to be unfazed by the said penalties and allegedly continues to violate the government's regulations. Ronald Gustillo, Digital Pinoy's national campaigner, said that stiffer penalties such as suspension should be imposed against Grab for the supposed hike in its minimum fare despite the absence of authorization by the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board or LTFRB. Napakarami na po ng uh, penalty na ipinataw sa Grab. At uh, pero na, na, ang napapansin natin sa kabila ng napakaraming penalties na ito, eh hindi ho sila tumigil. So, dapat bigyan na ng mas mabigat na parusa yung Grab at saka yung Move It. Uh, yung suspension, yung duration no. Uh, tingin natin 60 days is enough. Pero we leave it to the government agencies na mag-decide kung gaano katagal no. He added that Grab-owned motorcycle taxi firm Move It should also be held accountable for violating the mandatory skills assessment and training. They also questioned Move It's plan to increase its number of riders in Metro Manila despite the lack of allocation from the technical working group. Itong sa Cebu, wala silang allocation at all. Zero yung allocation nila dyan. Yung uh, Angkas at saka Joyride, I think meron silang pig 4,000 pero sa Cebu wala. Kapag ka nag-ooperate ka na wala kang allocation, rate ng walang prangkisa. In a statement, Move It denied the claims of violations stating that it operates in strict accordance with the government regulations. Move It also added that it is actively working with the Motorcycle Taxi Technical Working Group to ensure that all their rider partner undergo the mandatory training and assessment. It also upgraded its app to enhance safety measures for riders and passengers. Meanwhile, the Makabayan Black said it plans to file a bill to regulate the TNVS sector Kasama sa mga dapat uh, i-regulate ay uh, paano ba talaga nabibigyan ng franchise ang uh, sino mang kumpanya na gustong uh, mag-offer ng ganitong serbisyo. Uh, pangalawa, regulation din talaga sa presyo at uh, sa commission system ng mga vehicle service na ito. At paano natin uh, aayusin no, yung uh, employer-employee uh, relationship. Kasi sa ngayon, ang uh, tawag lang doon sa mga drivers, eh, sila daw ay mga partners. No? Janice and Hente, UNTV, News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.